اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الناس تقو ربکم اللہ ذی خلق من نفسیو واحدہ خلق منہا زوجہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الناس انہ خلقناکم من زقن و انسا و جعلناکم شعوبا و قبائلا لتعرفو انہ قرمکم اند اللہ یتکاکم ان اللہ علیم خبیر بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شوحلی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لحسانی یفکہ کولی ریسپیکٹڈ ایڈوکیٹ ہیک دے ریسپیکٹڈ ایڈوکیٹ ہنگورانی می ریسپیکٹڈ ایلڈرز اور می دیر بردن سسٹرز آئی ویلکم آل افیو ویڈ اسلامی گریٹنگز السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ May peace, blessings and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be on all of you. The topic of this morning's talk is Universal Brotherhood. There are various types of brotherhoods. For example, brotherhood based on blood relationships, brotherhood based on regions on race, on caste, on creeds, etc. But all these types of brotherhood, they are limited. Islam, alhamdulillah, believes in universal brotherhood. It doesn't believe that human beings have been created in castes or in different levels. And I start my talk by quoting a verse from the glory of Quran from Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, which describes the Islamic concept of universal brotherhood in the best way. It says, Ya ayyuhan nasu, inna khalaqnaakum min zakrin wa unsa, wa ja'alnaakum shu'uba wa qaba'ila lita'arafu, inna kramakum inda Allahi atkaakum, inna Allaha alimun khabir, which means, that, O oh, humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other, not that you shall despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa. And Allah is all-knowing full of knowledge, and well acquainted with all things. This verse of the glorious Quran says that, O oh humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female. That means the whole human race originates from a single pair of male and female. All the human beings in the world, they have a common grandparent. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that we have divided the human race into nations and tribes so that they shall recognize each other, not that they shall despise and fight amongst themselves. And the criteria for judgment in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this verse says, doesn't depend on sex, caste, color, creed, or wealth, but it depends on taqwa, that is, God consciousness. That's piety, that's righteousness. Anyone who's more righteous, who's more pious, who's more God conscious, is honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah has full knowledge and is well acquainted with all things. Further, the glorious Quran says in Surah Room, chapter number 30, verse number 22, that, and amongst his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the variation in your languages and your colors. Verily, in that is a sign for those who know. The glorious Quran says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created various types of languages and different colors, black, human being, white, brown, yellow. And these are signs these variations in color of the language is not to despise each other because every language 
that you have on the face of the earth. It's a beautiful language. It may sound funny if it is unique to you. You may not have heard that language before. It may sound funny. But those people who speak that language, for them, it's the most beautiful language. So Allah says, he has created various languages and colors so that you may recognize, you may know each other.